millions, isn't it, coming in? That's where all the ad, that's where all the ad revenue's gone. What's he's been creaming it off the top? <laughs> Stuart, Stuart, give me uh, an advance on the payment, so I was able to do all this. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I am not the treasurer of this operation. Does your missus know? Does your missus know that you did? Yeah. I am not the treasurer. Nothing to do with me. Yeah. What is that it one? Mickey's Legend. It does. It does yeah, to you, man. Bat Stuter. Oh, what, a, what an absolute player Bat Stuter was, by the way. Uh, the light's not good. The oh. light's bad. He's one of my heroes, imagine, mate. Imagine Kipper being fat. I had that out for my TikTok the other day. What was that? Right, so anyone where... listening to the podcast, that shot didn't even cross the line. Well done, shit. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. if we want to get all ruly, that was handball and all. It was handball because he used ball. his head. Work that oh, yeah, out, sorry, right? We just, so beauty, sorry, sorry so beauty rules, to right? To if he uses his head, it's handball. What the piss is that about? <laughs> See, again, this, we are gonna. We've really got to stop ourselves going into this. I would say not handball. What's it? You were going to talk then? Go. <laughs> oh, oh, shut me up. Uh, <laughs> I would turn up at a tournament, right? The build these professional players, get in there. Blank, boring players with no personality out, and they'd be really good with them. I'd turn up with my best, funkiest kit I could get my hands on that looked really retro, Arsenal bruised banana, and I'd think I'm going to win because I've got the best kit. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't going to win, mate. Works on but Sunday league, league, but that means well, you're po- you Polish. If you're some... Polish. You know, no, I'm going to I'm going to the 2022 World Cup. Are you, who oh, you right. as, a, as, a, who you as a journalist, the Isle of Man. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, that, let's not let's not forget. Stephen's gone wow. pro. Stephen's yeah, gone Stephen, pro. Stephen has gone pro. Yeah, he's just gone professional. <laughs> yeah. I can see you're all behind me in this plan. Thanks. Hey, mate, I'm back. I'm behind you, man. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Left. So okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to finish that because I've got to start series two. Mate, go uh, on without me. D minus, D minus, Stuart. I wouldn't even give me. I wouldn't even give me an A for effort. You're late. You, you've got to hand that in. You're late handing that so in. So late. It's unreal. Just so gonna bunk off. Yeah. In a way, it's like buying a pair of thirty pound boots and buying a hundred twenty pound pair of boots. Really, isn't it? Yeah. Ends of the day. You know, you, you're still not very good in whatever pair you're wearing. Yeah. You realize that you realize it's something. You realize it's something you can spend a bit of money on, and be good. It's like. People take up cycling. People that, that have money, they'll come with the best of bikes, but they'll get people be they'll be left behind after ten men. And you're going, you didn't really think this through, <laughs> you know. It's one of those things. People who have money, they'll spend the best of money on it. They mightn't be good at it, but they'll spend all their money on it. Yeah. But it's up, it's up to your skill level, you know. What yeah, I mean? and the, yeah. the great thing I would say about Sputo is there is a place for anyone. If you've got loads of money, by all means, there's places for you to go and spend loads of money, but there's also places where you can go and spend not a lot. And essentially, the kit you're getting is not that much of a downgrade, in inverted commas, on what you would get if you went massive, if that makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes it's an upgrade. I mean, I bought most of these Lelagenda teams for three euros. And yeah, they're the rubbish. De- no, but the detailing on the kit, I know you don't like them because you're a painter. Yeah, no, they are. But the detailing <laughs> on them is amazing. For three decent. pound, for three euros. That's the same, yeah. um, the We same. all tried to buy them and then we found out they were all sold out because Stuart bought every fucking team that brought. In the, again, in the original <laughs> range. But I've still got yeah. some, sure. I still want some. I still want some. There's a guy who um, writes for the site occasionally and, and, and the magazine, um, James Gordon, who's really into his um, modern. Spurio, and I think he's got three more Mulligan's teams yeah, to go. Is, for sport, is he Sporting Loft? Is he Sporting Loft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got. Yeah, he's, he's missing yeah. three, three from. Him. Pretty impressive. Can you help? Can you help Mood Stewart? Come on, help him. No, because I need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I do need more than that myself, so I'm like, I'm robbing. Come on, you would be more of a celebrity if you helped that man complete a set. Oh, but then I'd have, then I'd be further off myself. Thing is, I bet we were looking for the same three teams. Well, I'm looking for more than three, but I bet we're looking for the same teams. I bet you. The ones, the ones that weren't on sale on We Are Games. Yep, Probably. exactly. Like I said, I mean, I've said this so many times. The lad that used to come to dispute your affairs had so many of these. I think he had the I whole set. I wonder what he done with them. He might have sold them now. I'd love to find out. Like I say, he used to come all the time. Yasser, he used to be there at Sheffield every single time. In the end, 
he stopped getting them out because nobody bought them. Literally, honestly, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, I'm sure he had all of them, the whole set of the original ones. Maybe he's watching. Can you get in touch? Yeah. Good if he did. So yeah. So if you are watching, mate, I've mentioned you like every week because this comes up, and I just I'd love to know. I'd love to know if you ever got rid of them because I know you were trying to shift them, or whether you've still got them. It would be awesome to know. If you've got them, help me and James Gordon out. Uh, help James <laughs> Gordon out first because he only needs three. Yeah. I've got a mute button. You know that, right? I'm not going to feature. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to feature. I've got the magazine as well. I'm gonna I've got a problem with top spin. How are we gonna? How are we gonna wrap this up? How are we? How, I, I don't know. I don't know what the conclusion. I need is. to I tell you my problem with topspin. Oh yeah, I, need, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Go on. It's it's very minor, but it's something that oh, could wind me up. So on all the bases, they have written around the edge what they are. So the way you go, super footy. Topspin has it right. They've all got quite a traditional, normal font. Topspin has got what could only be described as similar to Comic Sans in italic. Yeah, okay. No one like, like we're, we're grown men. We're not a primary school. To be fair, uh, I don't know how well. Sense. It's not 100% Comic Sans, but it's almost. Okay. Oh, it's comic, no one likes Comic Sans. Like, not anymore. What, my, CV, my CV's in Comic Sans, I think. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not. No, mine's in, mine's in uh, like typewriter font, like Courier New. It's not that thing. I think the Subudio Sobs bench is in Comic Sans, is it? I'm only joking, um, Cal. I'm only joking. Uh, <laughs> bang average accessory, though. You, you wouldn't take out the best of your accessory in comics, up. Can so I we, sponsor we'll... that World Cup? Journey? <laughs> yeah, you can. If you really want sponsorship for the last one game. <laughs> no, you got Callum, how's your hold sponsorship on, on. deal? How's your sponsorship deal going? Did you get it? My sponsorship deal? Yeah, on Subutia yeah, Fest. Oh, yeah. Sorry, he's wormed his way into that. Because hey, 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 hey. yeah. I've seen some posters and you're still not on the poster. Look, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, boys, there's more important things than getting your logo on a post. All right? I'm about supporting the event and doing what I can to help the studio community. You boys are only in it for the exposure. I'm in it to really help out and offer support. And Where are you going? Product. No, I'm sending merch. <laughs> so you're, you're phoning it in as well. <laughs> I'm also now the sponsor of the Advanced Rules Tournament. Oh, here we go. Mm. Product placement, product placement. <laughs> with your online cup, as we're going to call it. <laughs> your online cup. I'm the Carabao of the Stavutio world now. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that? I'm the Carabao of the Stavutio world. The Papa John. I have to move some stuff here. Hold on. I love it. I love it. I've just signed a media partnership with Fistiff, so that's that out the window, isn't it? <laughs> Steven's views are not mine. My say, views are my own. I was going to say, all you've got to say is uh, these are the views of Sputio Online and not of the Sputio Show, nor Sputio. Oh, no. Our sound's just gone. Sputio sounds Sputio just Online. gone. <laughs> sound's gone. Are you dead? No, I'm here. I can eat. I'm back. You're back. You're back. So, I. I would I be allowed I to turn really... up with. Would I be allowed to turn up with Sputio Cufflinks? <laughs> Jesus, so, could I turn up and play with them? No. Why not? I'm the one that's going to get hurt. They're probably, they're probably too heavy. Yeah, but I'm the one that's going to get a bad finger. <laughs> right, I think we need to call this before... Honestly, Steve, like, I just yeah, don't get right it. There. Don't get me wrong. Like, Spudio's a great game, but I think we, some people have taken it too far. <laughs> we're, at the, we're at the R mark here, lads. Says we're the man the with a full running track pitch in his attic. Yeah, but she wants another running track for... <laughs> Honestly, <clears throat> sorry, I need to give a massive shout out to Mini Soccer Builds. He's putting together the best dugout known to man for me. Not dugout, sorry, tunnel. Honestly, it looks pucker. The pictures of it he sent me are great. Eh? That man is a genius. He's clever. He is he's good. Absolute he is genius. Good. I bet he doesn't well, play I don't actually, I don't actually know. Can I ask another question? It seems to upset tournaments? people. <laughs> is, there a mini <laughs> is there a minimum size requirement as well? Yeah. yeah. So could you, or not, tournaments? Like, could you not turn up with like flat spaces, like not flat bases, like flats? Like, you know, the old sort of... You, you, can, show, you, can, show up, you can show up at a club with anything. It's just if you go to a World Cup, they're going to fucking, they're going to wait. You know what I mean? You, you can show up with... 
If you're going full pro, you, they're going to want to weigh it. It's like the drugs tested, mate. Yeah. They're going to want to do you it. You can go anywhere. Uh, you can go right. anywhere and bring anything you it's want. Not like, it's not like you win the tournament, but you're not allowed in the dressing room with everyone else. You have to go to a little room. And please tell, me, they, like the please tell me they don't have to go and piss in a cup as well. <laughs> I reckon they no, might. I reckon gonna, they might go big. Look, uh, well, Stephen will be able to tell you he's going to World did Cup you ever, I don't know if he's mentioned it, but he is going to World Cup 2022. Stephen, please... Did you never watch the... Uh, right uh, yeah. I'm on did it. you never watch the show on YouTube? I'm going on the cover. The English guy that went to the World Cup and got pissed up for the whole World Cup. Glad. And they kicked him out of the team and all. <laughs> I forget what I... The guy's well, a genius. Look at what Gazza did. He went and enjoyed Gazza himself. did. <laughs> Gazza went and did that in real life and he was a genius. But to be fair, the guy was a bit of a a-hole. So he was. He let his whole team down <laughs> on the tournament day. <laughs> One day, I'm going to enter a tournament. Can you enter it under an alias? Get yourself a really cool alias name. Uh, I'm gonna no, that's... I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my Lullagenda side down there. <laughs> Bruce. You know, like, when Bruce they start weighing when they start weighing like stuff, I'm gonna put silly stuff in the base like to weigh it down. <laughs> no, they, they won't weigh it. Like brown I think brown we're sugar or something. We are definitely in injury time now, I think. <laughs> Do you know um Tammy? His head's gone. Hammers, head's gone. <laughs> you know you can get them hammers that have like the shot in them. So when you hammer it, you get like a double hit. That's what you need in a Sputio base. When you hit the ball, you get like a double what? Like shoot. You know when you, you can get a hammer, right? That has oh my God, what is happening? I just thought well, because he was about putting brown sugar in his bases. You can get hammers that I can't what they're actually called. They're hammers that have got like shot in them. So it's like like shot. So when you hammer, you get more impact hit in the surface of your hammering. Lads, can I can I say? Oh, something? somebody in the comments knows what I'm talking about. Please but if you get that in your spirit your bases, you hit the ball, you get a double contact, and the ball is flying. Anyway, go on, Watson. They're not going to have that. Lads, lads and I, I, I need help. I need help here. <laughs> Ar- <laughs> Ireland have just drawn. Oh, Ireland have just drawn with Qatar one one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know Qatar had a football team. They didn't until the World, World Cup. Cup. The Rose in the World Cup. Have they um, the boys have just the been pulled off? Now? Have they got a fistful tournament? The wow. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ireland. Well, on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, Qatar have drawn one all with Ireland. I think we'll end on Here's that. Here's Qatar. I know I'm sporting in the World Cup. <laughs> didn't the Republic get beat by Luxembourg the other day as well? Enough. <laughs> Enough. I'm Scottish. I'm Scottish. Oh dear. What's happened to Stuart? Is he alive? What's he looking at? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wall. Oh, I'm just, yeah, do you know what? I'm generally, I'm generally thinking of the hate I'm going to get for shouting my mouth off about Fistiff. I suppose my opinions are tongue in cheek ish. <laughs> hey, mate, we've all got them. They're just opinions at the end of the day, and opinions can be changed. If people so, yeah, can get someone the- tell me in the <laughs> comments if anyone's ever been thrown out of a festive tournament for having a heavy player mid competition? I'd be amazed if that if that hadn't happened. That how competitive those tournaments get. Do you not remember the 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 World Cup, the, the World Cup from like 1990 or 94 where there was that kick off? 1990, yeah, it was on M. Hey, hey, at least he was lightweights. I bet they weren't weighing players. Oh yeah, but there was a old kick off, weren't there? Oh, they were doing all sorts of that. They were uh, they used to put a melt the safety pin in the back of the goalkeepers to make them more stiff. You know, so when the, the keeper saved it, he bent uh, back. I'm sorry, but so they melt. They people were like that. It gives the beauty a bad name. But then <laughs> we're not there's all the losers. Guy. We're not see all the losers. Guy that I, see the guy really? I was talking about that, right, that went at Subutio. drinking. Mm-hmm. Went drinking and messed up the whole team competition. There was a whole, I can't remember the whole story, the real story or the proper story, but he done something with his fingernail. He, he wore a fake nail. Oh, I heard this one. Oh, wow. That's he sad wore he's got a, a fake beat a nail. Cheat at Subutio. Like, like, my four year old cheat at Subutio. Why are you yeah. cheating? <laughs> I'm so the sorry. whole thing is. The whole thing is. What's the, can I just ask? I don't know if anyone, like, Stephen, you might know this just because you're going out there. What's the prize? What's the prize fund for a Fistiff World Cup? Does anyone know? A trophy? Well, I don't I mean, know. It's, it's not professional. No, you're cheating um, for a tin cup. Yeah. 
There's no money involved. Like I think it's a league cup. I think it's a league cup. I think they're competing for a it's league not a cup. Profe- it's not a professional sport. It's only for world rankings, and that's it. Pray. So you're cheating for nothing. And as we, as we talked about on, the, on our show last week, <laughs> boys, boys throw the trophies in the bin when they're leaving. When boys are leaving festive competitions, they put the trophy in the bin. They don't well, even want the trophy. It's not so even the trophies. Envi- so it's not even environmentally friendly. Stephen, you've got to deal with this, mate. You've got to... This is a PR changes. nightmare. <laughs> I wouldn't be trying out the trophy. I'd be getting posium, champagne. Exactly. And well, they actually, um, actually give the tour of the trophies to Wee Ruby. That's what they were talking about in our show last week. One of the, the guy that won the big competition in Glasgow gave the trophy to Ruby and she was all delighted with it. And he said, I'm not taking that home. It's too much hassle to take that home. Well, that makes her the winner. Trophy. That means she's, she's the winner. I'd already have my you... open top bus ready, so I'd just take that home. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no, there's no praise. There's no, there's no money. There's nothing. It's just you're the it's winner. Ego. You're the, yeah, you're the favorite or whatever. It's not a professional it. sport, is it? It's... No, it can't be professional. Once it, if they introduce that, then it would introduce money and it would introduce sponsorship and different Why shit. can't it be professional? Why not? Because it's an amateur sport. It's an amateur right. game. Why? Why does it have to be an amateur sport? Why can't, nobody, why can't... Because nobody is sad enough to go, I don't know, I'm going to pay someone. But they are though, aren't they? No. But the, because it's not but the thing is, pe- no people are paying you to pay teams money. for them. People are paying but me for a magazine different. about it. That's different. It's not. We're not going to get, there's no, like, right. Sports become professional when there's interest from businesses around making money out of said sport right so esports is massive because the companies realize they can make money out of it doesn't have to be major money it can still it can still be professional on a smaller scale no one's going to bother mate i think the problem is it's not it's not a spectacle is it it's it's fun to play it's fun to collect it's fun to stadium build it's not fun to watch other people play it yes Well, I don't. thank you so much for joining us for this week's video <laughs> show. A bit controversial here. Yeah, I've, I've, I've ruffled some feathers. It's like I saw I think, the other week that they're, they're talking geez, about goal line going. technology. Tried, they're talking about goal thing. line technology and Subutio. Right, and they're it's serious like, about it. I love, I love that though. I think that's brilliant. Oh, it's right. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's Look a game. The size it's of the bloody they, thing. They already they, had goal line technology. Fun, though, made. It's just the material for keeping the ball in the back of the net. All you've yes. got to do see, is see? improve. Where's my thing? It Just make Where's it me... stickier. And then that's it solved. You don't need technology. You don't need anything. You just need there technology. it is. So, it's so ridiculous. It's fun. Yeah. Someone, someone's done it's that, that and made that good. it work and made it happen. It. There you go, Lit. Material of keeping the ball in the goal. Done. Dusted. Oh. Finished. No, I'm not having that. I think that sort of thing's really good. Uh, <laughs> you, love, you love putting that sort of thing in the magazine because it's cool. How do, you, how do you bring that into the game and to every club? How do you bring goal lane technology into every well, club? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, does it? Because football was supposed to be about making rules that could be applied at every level and then they changed it. They just changed their minds because they wanted goal like they wanted VAR. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that FA used to, if you made a rule at FA level, it used to have to be applicable yeah. every single level of the game. So from grassroots all the way up to the top. As soon as they bought in goal line tech, that that changed, and then you got VAR, where in some games you've got it in the same round of a cup, which is fucking ridiculous. In the same round of like the FA Cup, if you're playing at home at a Premier League ground, you can have VAR, but if you're playing away in yeah. the Championship or League One, you don't have it. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. That, that happened to Everton a couple of years ago. They went away to Millwall. They, they didn't deserve to go through because they were absolutely terrible. So. Um, but they actually got knocked out because Millwall punched the ball in, in the last minute. But because we were away and not at home, yeah. we went out the cup. Whereas if it was, this is another, it this is another discussion. Crazy. VAR is ridiculous. Uh, let's not talk about it. We've been on for ages. Let's just, let's just knock it on the air. Well, <laughs> one, last, one last thing. While we're talking about VAR. <laughs> Sorry, no. Maybe, maybe we can tie in with um, Subido Passion. Isn't he run the Solo World Cup? Where's that at? Is it, like, is it ending? Maybe we could tie him in the finished. final or something. I want, to say, I want to say that it's finished, mate. Who won? <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> Who won? I don't know. Do you want me to have a little bit um, I did see this. Australia? What? Portugal, what? I think. Portugal? So, sorry, a guy playing in, Eng- a guy <laughs> playing in England never England didn't win it. <laughs> You've got to be impartial. It weren't rigged. At least he was honest. 
the rig yeah, it. That's, that's, the best, just, that's the best thing about Sabuti is you, if you can be disciplined with yourself, and I would say this will be more, if you can be disciplined with yourself to be fair, it can be brilliant. If you're just going to cheat and let your team win all the time. If I, if I was a solo player, I would cheat. I would cheat the whole fucking way. Ireland would win every World Cup. There's two types of people out there. They would have beaten Qatar tonight, wouldn't they? <laughs> there's two types of people out there. There's people that save... It, it, honestly, there's two types of people out there. There's the people that save Football Manager before they play every game, and there's the people that save it once a month. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what are you doing? I never... I never see it before <laughs> cup panels. <laughs> I haven't played it in years. Never saved it before a cup final. I'm not 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 I'm not